18 handicap, looking to improve on the wrist angles through the swing to get better club face control and stop the aggressive pulls and slices. So a pull and a slice are really the same miss with the path with a varying club face being open or closed. And with this type of position of that club face right about at your P5, that means you have to either really wrap that face around and close it to hit that pull or pull draw, or you're just going to leave it open and fade it. So the length of the club can often dictate whether or not you can close it in time, and usually the longer the club, the more open it will be, leading to more fades. So the root, the root of the issue is both the path and the face. And I know the camera angle is set to the inside, but your takeaway is a bit to the outside with the irons, as you might be trying to force that club away from your body. But speaking on your wrist angles, you need to get that left wrist flat and the right wrist to retain more of a cupped angle to point the club more down to the ground because the toe up position you're in starts the face being open and it continues to get further open as you keep a big cup in that left wrist and the right hand is pointing more down toward the ground which is going to bring the club more vertically up. A common feel or theme with the right hand or right wrist is to feel like you're holding a waiter's tray or getting the right palm facing up toward the sky. That will take your club shaft and flatten it out, giving you a much greater chance of bringing it back down from the inside. And the face will be more square so you don't have to deliver the club with as much flip or scoop on the way through. So let's jump over to your driver swing where it's a slightly better angle, especially to see where your face is on that takeaway. And we can see it's rolled open quite a bit in that driver swing. Now it is more to the inside, which the length of club could have just drawn your path more inside. The turn of your body is likely to bring that club path more inside as well. But the fix or your drill is going to be this. So let's get back to your setup. You could close up your stance and body, but let's move past that. Get to your takeaway and your P2 position, club parallel to the ground. Stop here and take your left wrist, your left knuckles, and rotate them down to the ground. I don't want you to even go further in the backswing until you have taken your setup, gotten to this position, revved your knuckles down, which will just directly turn the face and point it down to the ground. Get it to angle close to where the ball is, and then you can begin your backswing, which should get your wrist angles a bit more flat if you can hold that angle and get that club more laid off behind you. There's a ton of things that can still happen from there. You can still leave it open and hit a big old push, but it should give you a chance to at least have the face come down more closed and give your path a chance to come down more from the inside. So good luck with those changes. Sendaswing.com.